Hey, this is Matt with NorCal Bushcraft, and today I'm out in my uh, spot. I'm along uh, a green belt, as we call it. I live, we live right in the midst of uh, the mountains here in, in, in uh, the high desert here in Redding. And so, where all the residential areas are, we have all these creeks that run through them. And so, along these creeks, we have a half mile to a mile wide of um, green belt, or it's just the wilderness that just goes through the middle of all these houses and so it's just a five minute uh, walk over here to my to this spot and so this is where I come out and practice a lot of my skills when I just have an hour or two after work uh, but I want to show you a bit of kit I recently did a video on water bottles uh, stainless steel bottles all kinds of bottles and I showed you my lightweight kit and um, I just found a, a carrier for that kit at a local army surplus store and I'm not really sure, I'm thinking it's for a water bottle, but I'm not sure of what it's really for. Uh, it's got my camera case connected to it here. Let me just take it off. It was a really sweet find because I've never really seen one of these before. And all it is is uh, some straps with some, some uh, loops on it so you can adjust it. It's got a tensioning strap around the middle. And then it's just got this Velcro uh, loop at the top and uh, then it just splits in half and it's a uh, it's a padded um, insulated uh, case and I'm guessing it's for uh, water bottles I just have some of my uh, stuff for tea and my uh, spork and so today I have just because I'm out for just like an hour I'm um, doing a little trek in shooting some video I just have my water bottle and then in the bottom I have my I have that stainless steel cup that I made from a water bottle a stainless steel water bottle and then in the bottom of it I've just got my uh, super cat stove and I have an ounce of um, heat 100% alcohol so I'm gonna brew up a little tea here um, just kinda hang out I've been doing a little bit of tracking I I come out here quite a bit just to practice my tracking skills because we have a lot of deer that, that come in here uh, to just get away from <clears throat> probably the predators. There's no predators around here so it's a safe place for them to raise their young and uh, I follow this uh, certain uh, doe and uh, it's, uh, its baby is uh, I would say probably about a year year old and it's, uh, it's like part albino so I'll try to get a picture. It's pretty pretty unique. But um, I just want to show you that my new uh, water bottle carrier it works out great. It's got a strap and it's just snug tight to the body. So this is a lot nicer than carrying around my uh, canteen co cover and my Nalgene bottle. I'm still wanting to make a hobo stove for this, so you can look forward to seeing that. Well, I thought I'd show you a little bit of uh, new gear that I got also. I got some uh, some 511 tactical pants that they call it TAC, uh, the TAC Pro Light or whatever. Uh, <coughs> I've been uh, wearing them for the last month or so, and I probably won't really do any kind of review. There's quite a few out there, but I mean, I will do a review eventually. But uh, this is a pretty sweet setup. I don't really have to carry anything. I could even put my water bottle in some of these pockets. But I'll just give you a quick rundown of how I got it set up today. I've got um, I got my wallet and keys in this side pocket. I got my uh, Tenacious sitting in this front kind of a designated knife pocket with uh, reinforcements. Uh, they have these really big deep pockets in the front and in the back and then I've just got my, uh, my Gerber knife sitting in this back pocket just kind of connected to my uh, belt loop. I got my Gerber multi-tool sitting here and I got uh, my headlamp strap in the back back of my pocket here. Uh, we've got a cell phone pocket. Got my uh, cell phone popped in there. I've, uh, I'm keeping a, a small bag in this pocket that I sit on for when I'm out here because it's really wet. Um, in, this back, in this front pocket here, nothing. In this back pocket I've got my gloves and uh, my handkerchief. 
So they're pretty sweet. They got the re they got the double knees for uh, you can insert knee pads. It's got a little uh, D ring here for hanging keys or whatever. Uh, it's got the elastic uh, waistline, which is really nice. Um, I like these a lot. These uh, these particular ones are not fleece lined. Uh, for the winter out here, I would I would like to have the fleece line, so I'll probably get some of those in the future. But these are going to be great for when I go to the Philippines in March, and uh, and for the summertime here, really cool. So that's just a quick quick look at the. Well, I just uh, finished heating up my tea, and I wanted to show you a little something that I carry. Uh, this is a little like coin pouch, I think it is given to me from someone that went to Mexico at some time. But uh, what I've gotten here is a, a vial of uh, sugar and uh, a few tea bags. I think I only got one tea bag left in here right now. And what I've done is I've just taken a little key ring and threaded it just straight through the bag. And this is basically is just like a quick pouch I can throw in my pocket, throw it in on my keychain for when I go out if I want tea. So I'll uh, I'll open the bag and then show you what's I uh, just show you quickly what I got on the inside. All right, well, here I've got, just got some tea, a tea bag wrapped up in some uh, saran wrap, and then I got this I got this small vial, looks like drugs, but it's got a it's just a vial full of sugar, about the sugar the amount I want in my tea, and so it's a sweet little kit. I just want to kind of show you that. Here's my uh, my stainless steel cup, my one ounce bottle, and my new case, carrying case for my uh, lightweight uh, water bottle system. This is Matt with NorCal Bushcraft. Thanks for watching and get out and enjoy the outdoors.